The man weighs 170 pounds. The rock weighs 900. How big a lever would the man need to lift the rock? Now, first thing you want to do is draw a free body diagram. Here's my lever. I've got a 900 pound load over here that's in the vertical direction and 175, 170 pounds over here. I'm also going to have some sort of reaction from the ground pushing up. And fulcrums are pins, so a Fy and a Fx in the x and y directions from the fulcrum there, the pin. I have to put some distances on, so this is going to be 1.1 feet. That was given in the problem. And this distance is what I want to know. This is x. I don't know how long that is. The law of the lever says if you have one weight at a distance on a lever, this has got to be the same as the second weight of the lever. But remember that this is for a lever that's sort of flat. What we're essentially doing is we're summing the moments about this fulcrum. The 900 pound load tends to spin the board, the lever, counterclockwise. The 170 pound load tends to spin it clockwise. He can lift the rock when this ground force disappears. When that ground force goes to zero and these two balance, then the rock will lift. But what we really want to have is 900 times some distance d1 equals 170 d2. But this has got to be perpendicular distance. So we need to find out what the distances are in the pure horizontal frame. Let's look at some triangles. If this is 1.1 feet given in the problem, I don't know what the height of the fulcrum was. That was not given. But this D1 is the distance that I'm going to want to have for my law of the lever. I can solve. I can say D1 is the square root of 1.1 squared minus h squared. But since I don't know h, I can't solve for D1. What I can say is that the triangle on, from to the fulcrum is going to have to be the same similar triangle as the total fulcrum. And this is the D2 that I want to have as the total lever. So my total lever length is 1.1 plus x. So by similar triangles, I can say d1 over 1.1, the horizontal over the hypotenuse, is going to have to be similar to d2 over 1.1 plus x from our similar triangles. Now I can use my law of the lever. 900 d1 is 170 d2, which if I solve my similar triangles for d2, gives me 170 times 1.1 plus x over 1.1 d1. Now, equating the left-hand side and the right-hand side of that, let me just write it out again so it looks a little clearer, I can now cancel the d1s. I don't know what they are, but I don't really care. So, if I solve that equation, x is equal to 1.1 times 900 over 170 minus 1.1, or 5.8235 minus 1.1. So, x, the distance that I was looking for, is 4.7235 feet. Now you always want to remember to answer the question. Your lever must be 4.72 feet long past the fulcrum, or 5.82 feet long total.